Hello, hello. Hi, everybody, and I hope you're keeping well. This is not Murph, but Gibbo Ireland helping Murph out with this video. And today's video is an introduction slash tutorial slash beginner's guide on Join FS. So perhaps you're like me, I'm brand new to it, but interested to learn more about, well, what is Join FS? Why should I care? And how do I get started? Well, you've come to the right place. So grab a tasty beverage and sit back as over the next few minutes I'll take you through the very basics with the goal being to get you up and running in JoinFS. Future videos will absolutely build on this as we as a community learn and share more about how to get the most from it. So without further ado, let's take a look together at JoinFS. Before we go any further, what actually is JoinFS? JoinFS has actually been around for a number of years now, and likely if you're in any way experienced with flight sims, you've heard about it. Quite simply, JoinFS is a free and lightweight utility that works in between your simulator of choice and the network to first and foremost allow cross compatibility. I've picked what I believe are a couple of reasons why you might wish to use it. So let's take a brief look. I mentioned platform of choice, and that's arguably the biggest selling point of JoinFS. We all have our favorite simulators, be it X-Plane, P3D, FSX, or Flight Sim 2020, and this allows all users come together into a single platform. Why does this matter? Well, the opportunities then can be endless, as you can bring aspects of that sim into multiplayer that may not be available in other simulators. Like to fly a Halo, anyone? It also has lots of additional features, again, that you may not have inherently available in your sim of choice today. Some of these are flight recording, which records your position for use later, which can be really great for things like flying at acrobatic maneuvers with others, or overdubbing, which can add recordings on top of one another, or even use for sharing tutorials so that others can follow along later. JoinFS also allows for private multiplayer group flying, and with it comes curation, which, should it be necessary to do so, allows you to remove disruptive users to avoid impacting the experience and enjoyment for others. And finally, cockpit sharing is another very cool feature where you can get a first-hand viewpoint in flying with someone else. I've no doubt we'll do future videos on some of these cool features and others not mentioned here such as model matching or SimCom X, so be sure to watch out for those. Aside from these cool features, JoinFS does not use the Microsoft server, which can provide benefits, in particular reducing the saturation that we see in the Microsoft servers and hopefully rendering more than 20 aircraft in multiplayer. And last but not least, JoinFS helps to provide enhanced levels of realism. There will be no re-energizing here, you'll crash into others if you fly into them. So be careful on those taxiways, people. <laughs> but this also allows you to get much closer to others flying, so expect to see some cool formation flying out there. Right, so now you know what JoinFS is and what some of its benefits are, let's take a look at how we go about getting it working. There are two links you will need to get started. They're also listed below in the description. The first thing we need to do is jump onto Discord and visit the Tutom Murphy Discord channel. Scroll down on the left and check if you have access to the JoinFS channel, which is an important step. If you are new to JoinFS, you will most likely not have access and will need to gain it. So to do so, just follow this quick step. On the right hand side, you will see the list of Tutom Murphy Discord users and find Murph, who of course is listed as Tutom Murphy. You will need to simply send Murph a DM, which is a direct message, asking him in your nicest possible way to give you access. I understand he accepts bribes of the gin variety. Once you have access to the JoinFS channel, there are some rules that is important for all our enjoyment to read and abide by. Scroll through this channel and you'll find a password listed which you will need in a moment when we move into JoinFS. This channel is a fantastic resource to collaborate with other Fireflies and all things JoinFS related including if you're having problems. There's also a voice channel which I understand we will use in the short term during JoinFS flights. 
so that we can hear one another. Oh, and just before you leave Discord with that all important password, why not join the official JoinFS Discord server too? To do so, visit this JoinFS link, which is again in the description, and click on Discord server to join. Okay, so I hope you're all still with me. We're now in the final steps to get up and running. Let's move on to installing JoinFS. On the second link, click download JoinFS and run the install wizard. Be sure to enable firewall access as you can see me doing here. Run JoinFS, then click on files and settings. Under username, make sure you use your same username on Discord for ease of identification. Just to mention, while show nicknames and simulator is ticked here, nameplates are not actually shown on JoinFS. Click OK here. Now, go to View and then click on Public Hubs. Scroll down and find TTM Flying Circus. Right click on this group and select Join. Enter the password you located from the Discord channel in the previous step. Now. To check that you're connected to the server, make sure that the password box is now green. And to see all the other fireflies in JoinFS, go to View and Session, and you should see some familiar names. Now we are ready to fire up the sim. Once in the sim, join the location of the other fireflies. In this case, it's Shannon. And be sure under Multiplayer, you change this to Group Only, then go ahead as normal. And the last step should be to go back into JoinFS and click on the red simulator button. And if all is working correctly, it should turn to green. We've got two greens, so we should be good to go. Now, I know Epic Fool is in another aircraft on the runway. Ah, and there he is. Now, I just can't finish the video here. We have to go for a quick flight. It's going to be fun to practice some formations. So that's it for this video on JoinFS, which I hope you found useful. Once again, this has been Gibbo Ireland, and a word of thanks to Murph for letting me gay crash his channel, and to Epic Fool for his great assistance in making this. Just a reminder, for any help you might need, I'd suggest you visit the JoinFS channel on the Two-Tone Murphy Discord, or the official JoinFS Discord server. Catch you on the next stream, everyone. Take care.